Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Enemy here, bringing you my review for One Piece Chapter 994. Okay, so right at the gate, of all things that Wano has has done for that has done for Kaido as an as a main antagonist, I feel it's really given more on his beliefs about death and how it's more and definitely like it establishes more that Kaido's whole beliefs on death are more than just him being suicidal, obviously. But here we dive into that to Kaido, it almost feels like he believes that what defines a person's life and their legacy is is death itself. And while there is some grin of truth to that, it's it's also one of those things where when, when you really dive deep into what Kaido believes about that, when, when you really dive into Kaido's words and really dissect what he seems to believe about death, you can see that view is almost a little short-sighted in the sense where you see he seems to have put so much stock on like death itself and how a person dies that he's almost failed to grasp that it's that that sometimes the rever that there's kind of a reverse to the there's a re there's a reverse to what there's a reverse to that there's a, there's kind of a reverse to to that in the sense where it's how a person lives and forms their legacy lives lives that forms their legacy and it's how that legacy is defined in life that determines how people will will, will remember someone in death and with kaido again he, he he definitely understands the fact of death 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 is the fine is the final stage like he says to, to basically to, to how someone is remember to, to how someone is remembered but he seems to think that death is only how people are remembered but with and so yeah he seems to he seems to misunderstand why so in that sense he seems to misunderstand what why Roger and Whitebeard were, were basically remember are, are remembered even after their death it's, be, it's because of the legacies that they had built but it's it's not because of the death itself like the obvious, obviously, with Roger, he 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 basically he he, he set the stage for for the whole pirate era. But even before that time, they used even before even before his death, he's he he, he was remembered for, for for basically everything he 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 had done up to that point as well. So it's like yeah, there, it's one of those things where. So, it's. So yes, it's one of those things where you, you can see what he's, you can un, you can see like where he's coming from and and what he, and how he perceives death to be, but he he is missing like like what 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 exactly me, but to him he seems to be missing as, as to what is going to make the death so impactful in itself. Um, and to that end, speaking about death, um, I do need to talk about. Uh, 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 about, 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 about about the whole thing with, 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 with I need to talk about the whole thing with, with Primish Kiko Nojo surviving, which I guess to a certain degree there is some leeway there considering how armored up he is compared to the rest of the Yakuza 9, but I would have also liked for him to at the very least be taken out of the rest of the fight as well because as we see in this chapter he's basically he's he's he's, re he's ready re rearing and and willing to go in, in order for another round but i it's one of those things where I, it's one of those things where I, I i did defend both i did defend like both both the yakuza and nine and the and kind of like pretty much fairly in the past couple chapters but this is one moment that does require a little bit of more suspension of disbelief for me like after 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 kiko nojo like after Kiko Nojo had taken had taken as many hits as, as he did, I thought he he would have at least been been like been like been been, been like knocked out been, been knocked out for a while. So, yeah, it's it's a little it's one of those things where it is a little underwhelming in order to see him in order to see him survive. But it, it but at the same time, I at, at, at least. At least we, at least, at least, at least going off last week's chapter, we at least see that 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 that, that Kiko Nojo is still like like pretty much at his a severe disadvantage from, from from having his arm like pretty much lopped off completely. So, yeah, it's it's not how I would have wanted the, the aftermath of that to go, but it is, it it it, it is still all right, I guess. It's 
I guess, I guess the circumstances are, are enough for, are for me to say that, yeah, to keep your nojo is a bit, a bit of a disadvantage here. Um, with that said, Queen in this single chapter just became my most personally despised antagonist in One Piece. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had hated him before, but with this chapter, I now despise him on the same level as Spondum. Yes, I said that right. I hate him as much as Spondum, and maybe even more so, because using your own men as walking virus spreaders, or walking virus zombies, pretty much, to take out the enemy, is just a new level of, psycho of psychotic that infuriates me so much that I genuinely want to see Queen suffer before being defeated or killed. Like, he has to, like, with Queen now, he has to suffer the most painful, torturous death. If he's going to die, he has to suffer the most painfully torturous death <clears throat> imaginable like he cannot die a simple death he needs to be like he needs to have himself injected with his own poison he needs to uh, we need to see him slowly suffer as uh, suffer as as he as he dies like i'm i'm sorry there there's nothing that there's nothing about queen i i can really even <clears throat> i can even remotely sp respect anymore the guy's just psych a psychotic fat fuck a psychotic fat fuck. I'm sorry, but he is, and he needs to fucking die. He's he he, he is kind of like the, I I I, I he, he is kind of like 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 the pretty much spondum of this, of this. He is kind of like like the more capable, but he is like I guess the more capable, but the more, but the more infuriating version of spondum as well. Like it's and and I know people will probably point more to more more to Orochi being like Spanda, but to me I, I saw him as like as more as more like like from Wobble if he was done right. So yeah. Congrat congrat so yeah, congratulations Queen. You've now become my my least favorite my most hated antagonist now. And but on the other hand, I will say though, I guess I should be thanking Queen in this case as well though, because what he's done with with this whole like virus infection thing going on is provide the absolutely perfect scenario to, for Chopper to flex everything new that he's learned in medicine for the past two years. Like, it's a moment that's been, I think, long been built up very subtly. Like, it, 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 it's been long built up and, and extremely subtle throughout this arc. But now is the moment where we meet, where we can and should expect Chopper to take the spotlight, albeit after Zoro choose the antibody serum from a poo. But... Even then, like I, I think I think this is like a moment that we can see Chopper Chopper shine the most, and in a way, I think this also sets the stage for something I've believed for a long while now, which ever since Wano started, which is that th this th th this whole thing of him of him like like from curing of trying to cure everyone on the battlefield right now, I think this will be like the first real step towards curing curing people with the smile fruit because I I imagine that the, the, the that the virus infecting a lot of the everyone on the bat, ev like a lot of a lot of the beast pirates and a lot of just and the samurai and whatnot, it's probably got the same composition as the stuff that that was, that was used in the smile fruit, if I understand, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I think I think this is gonna gonna be a piggyback to him curing curing the citizens of one of of the smile fruit and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> And yeah, obviously we need to we, we definitely we have to talk about about much about 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 and obviously, as we learned, she's been she's been there this whole time and witnessed everything that's happened. But because of that, Yamato herself has lived with nothing but regret her entire life at not being able to to do anything to stop her father or Orochi. But now that she's older, she has and has more power. We do see that to her, when it comes to when it comes to opposing her father and protecting like like. like and protecting like 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 the like the Kozuki family and Momonosuke, to her these are things that sh she sees as not only a duty, but a means for her to rectify her own weakness. Which, 
is definitely an admiral thing, an admiral thing on her part. But at the same time, it's one of those things where a child should never blame themselves for being weak because it's through that weakness that you understand how you can become stronger. And honestly, the, the, the more I see of Yamato, the, the more I, I kind of realize that she's probably going, after this is all said and done, she's probably going to become one of Momonosuke's retainers should she, she survive all this. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I don't think she's gonna die as much as I think she is, as much as I might have thought she was. Um, also, seeing how Oda still is building up Luffy making it to Kaido kind of makes me wonder if that's one of those things he's planning for Chapter a Thousand. Because I'm not gonna lie, it is getting a bit frustrating to see Luffy constantly running trying to make it to Kaido. It's like, it's one of those times where I'm I'm like, okay, he's running. But how much progress is he actually making? And it is, it is where the typical anime manga logic with this stuff does get a touch annoying. Like I, I, I definitely get it that that Odo, he wants to build things up, but it's like, can you show us him making a little more progress than what we're shown? Because it feels like he hasn't really gotten anywhere. I'm just saying. But um, yeah, guys, that's all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Analyst of Crunchyroll. Death Night of Enemy, signing off. Later, guys.